morning. Today is an exciting day. Um, I have a lot of things going on today. I have a little bit of work today, and then I have some exciting uh, life things going on. I don't usually hold my camera like this. Ooh, it's heavy. <laughs> We had Rafi on in the background the whole time. Okay, the reason today's an exciting day is because this morning we finally launched my podcast. Look, here it is. It feels so weird to see myself on. I just love podcasts so much. So seeing my face amongst all my favorite podcasts is really exciting. But now we're on our way to the other exciting thing. Oh, oh. oh. Okay, ready? things going on in the Gray family household. So first on the list is that I'm pregnant and I feel like a lot of you have been on to it for a while. It's like 9 a.m. I'm just eating a taco on the porch. I do. Thank you for like all the sweet messages and comments. I'm feeling really well. I'm in my second trimester now so I've heard people on YouTube say before like you see five minutes of my life once a week. I actually appreciate that sentiment. It's true. What you see of my life is edited. It's what I choose to document. You know, I just thought of hummingbird live cams where you can just at any time of the day, you can like pop in and just watch what the hummingbirds are doing. Long story short, I actually feel like a lot of you do know me quite well because at least what I'm trying to do is weave together just my ordinary daily life and trying to romanticize it, but then also weaving in you know, stories about minimalism and slow living because they're just two topics that I, I'm so passionate about. I've talked a lot about what it's like to be a minimalist mother, to have more slow living values in a, in a culture where being a mom and having kids is really chaotic. That's what's normal and common. And I'm just excited actually for something new. I can share a little bit about what it's like for me, what my tenant and wardrobe's like during my this my maternity season of my life. Other topics like how I'm preparing for the baby and minimalist baby must-haves and other exciting news. We got chickens, which I'm sure that you have seen. <laughs> You have some new sisters. You can see them. Okay. You think they're biters? Biters? No, they're not biters. You got them, Tan? Okay. Tan, okay. yeah, I think this is the one you can name. You have to pick it up. Okay. about what do my kids really enjoy doing? What are they really passionate about learning? Based on everything I know that they don't even know exists yet, what do I think that they would really enjoy learning about? Like what can I show them, teach them, expose them to, take them to that is gonna really pique their interest? So one of the things I'd written down was to raise a baby chick. So yeah, I just know this is like a peak childhood memory for them right now and uh, that always feels good as a parent to know that your kid is like living that. One other thing I've been thinking about, I just felt like I needed to wait until I announced the news about my pregnancy and I was rereading essentialism during my first trimester because I spent a lot of time just kind of like laying in bed, laying on the couch, relaxing, and I was reminded as I read that book every time I say yes to something, that means I'm saying no to something else. If I buy a new couch, that means I'm saying no to the couch that I have, 
note at the time that I might have spent doing something else because now I'm going to either give away or sell or do something with the couch that I already have. And I'm saying no to the potential things I could have done with the money had I not bought the new couch, right? And sometimes I think we examine those options and we're like, you know what? Yeah, I got the wrong couch to begin with. It's time to sell the couch. You know what the real example is? Is my winter journal. This is the perfect example because this actually happened to me. I love slow living. I love seasonal living. I love sharing inspiration for those things with other women that are passionate about it like I am. It seemed like something that would be a really great opportunity for me. And in, I think in a lot of ways it was. I realized that I was putting way too many things on my plate, that my actual focus and passion is YouTube. And so I had to like really look at myself and be like, hey, I actually really, I want to live what I'm talking about on this channel. Like I really want to live a slow, peaceful, meaningful life. I want to have slow and simple days with my children. I also want to contribute with this work. This is, this is such a passion project for me. And it really makes for a really rich life for for me to be able to do, share these videos with you. To connect with the women who take my course, all of that, it adds to my life so much, but if I say yes to every opportunity that comes into my mind, and I start spreading myself too thin and I'm not able to effectively do the things that I really want to do, like homeschool my children and not feel rushed, time to film and edit my YouTube videos and have it actually be like an enjoyable experience for me. I, I really like sitting down at my computer and editing my videos. I like listening to music and picking out the music for it. I don't know how you feel. I feel like I just want to have like more lightheartedness with myself. I never want minimalism, at least on my channel, to be synonymous with like perfectionism. A perfect amount of items in your home that are meticulously placed and they're never out of order and you just give your life to that. The purpose is that like let let the environment serve you. I, I want there to be that tone of lightheartedness with ourselves as we try things and grow. And that's something I want to have more with myself. I don't know about you.